All right. Um, I'm going to be doing a little update on what happened the other day. So there was a group of pictures, and then one of them had a video, I guess, about the future of Bewitch music, I guess, uh, from a Bewitch group. And there's a lot of Bewitch groups on Facebook. And then I had landed in Facebook jail all over someone who had been dead over 30 years, which is preposterous, okay? And now... I have accused of being a liar on Facebook because they they claim they uh, they allegedly said that I have tried to get views, likes, subscribers, misleadingly, and I was like, "What the fuck? I mean, are you serious? Over someone that's been dead in uh, thirty years?" I can see like it may be a Taylor Swift or or maybe uh, uh, someone to lie, but really, Elizabeth Montgomery, are you serious? Are you absolutely? Since Facebook has done this many times to me before, I'm seriously thinking of like after I after I um, take some time after I move to the new Second Palace, I'm seriously thinking of taking some time off of Facebook. Maybe a few days, or maybe a, a few days after I, um, after I, uh, yeah, after I settle in, because you know, number one, I am in school, but even though I already finished week one, I've already finished that practically, and you know, I've already done up to week eight of the NFL pickup. I just had to do the, uh, uh, I had to do the aftermath of each week. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty straight with that. But the audacity of every time I turn around, whether it's an ad that I'm trying to do or whether, I mean, I, I've been showing uh, off Elizabeth Montgomery and, and Bob Eden for like weeks. And now all because of one one combo of picture and photo. And I did a combo combination before I've been thrown in Facebook jail. The sheer nerve of Facebook doing that. I mean, the censorship is just terrible. Absolutely, positively terrible. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, why? Why? I originally like safe Facebook because it's the only reason, it's the only way that I could put out a longer sentences, you know, longer sentences where X, yeah, X, you're, you're still only allowed to be doing one tweet unless you pay for it then you you do a longer tweet i don't know how that goes but unless you pay for it you could do longer tweets but i mean it's just the censorship is that's going amok it's just going amok still in 2024 we're still doing dealing with censorship hello first amendment rights first amendment rights unbelievable un freaking believable but uh, that's where we're at now. I, I told them, I let them know. Matter of fact, if I can, I will try to see if I can read the post here. And, oh yeah, I, I put out the Facebook in the main phone because I was so mad. I was so mad at them. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get you the new Facebook. And the wrestler known as Sid Vicious has passed away. I just found this out. Let me see if I'm still recording. Am I still recording? Yeah. Uh, I found out yeah, last night that Sid Vicious, uh, the WWE wrestler who was one WWE champion, had passed away. And the crazy thing about it is all of us in the anniversary of Bob Barker's uh, passing away. And then I, the day that I started calling. And this is yet one year removed the week before, you know, when I was still in Denver. I said there on the last podcast that uh, Terry Funk and um, Bray Wyatt had passed one year to, uh, to, uh, two days before. Okay, so here's the post that I've read on, on, on uh, that I wrote on Facebook. I'm going to read it here. I was wrongfully put in Facebook jail. That's why no one has heard from me. The, they removed the, a post, Elizabeth Montgomery photo, something that I shared before. She's not been alive for 30 years, and I'm being accused of being a liar. I might be leaving Facebook or just get another account because I can't deal with the censorship on here. It happened to me on here 
way too many times. Okay, that's the one that I put in um, a few minutes ago, and then I put in another one. I said I will not be on here for the next few days, maybe until I settle in the new room, either Friday or Monday. I'm still very upset over that decision. Something has got to be done. Something has got to be done. I mean, this is really ridiculous. We're still in 2024, in the 21st century, still dealing with censorship. Still dealing with censorship. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy.